Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create shape transition effect using Filmora 10. You know that I'm a super lazy video editor and I just want to use all the viewing transition in Filmora 10. But sometimes we need to be creative, right? So this is the when we create our own transition. I know that in Filmora there's there are also uh, many blend shape transition which looks similar to this kind of transition. By the way, uh, this is just our old transition so we can customize a little bit more with our uh, animation keyframe and also the color of the transition. Uh, I will show you how. But if you are as lazy as me, then just go ahead to the link I put in the description below. I put some uh, transitions example so you can use it for your project so let me show you uh, so this uh, this is the first one and the second one and the third one so the one that looks similar to what you see at the beginning of this tutorial okay so just go ahead to download it I will show you how to use uh, this uh, transition uh, later at the end of this tutorial okay so let's go to the uh, go to Filmora first so here is the Filmora uh, 10. So uh, as you can see here, so we have uh, some color here. All the color is here are in the sample color, uh, in here in the sample color right inside the media library. And here we have some uh, keyframe animation keyframe. So just as position keyframe uh, of this sample color. Okay, so let's do it from the beginning so you can uh, follow the step. Let's delete everything on the timeline, okay? So first thing first, we need sample color, right? And we go to media and go to sample color. Uh, right here, you can select any color. But for me, I'm going with green, okay? So the, the green color on the top track. And then uh, we need to resize it. So just click on the preview window and resize. Again, the size and the size of the sample color, it is depends on you. So you can decide anything, any size you want. But for me, I, I would love to have this size. And then uh, we move it out of the frame. Okay, so it's just out of the frame. Uh, out of the frame like this. Okay, so it is right here. Okay, so we need the next color, right? Let's see, uh, red one. Okay, so put it at the track below it, uh, and this one, a blue one, uh, nice. Okay, so we need to have the same position for the red and the blue, uh, like the green one. Okay, red, blue, green. Okay, and all we need to, uh, to do is just copy the effect of the green one. To do that, we right click, right click on the green one, and select copy effect, and then we can highlight the red and the blue and then copy and paste the effect uh, now we can select a right click and select paste effect okay so by doing this all three color are in the same position right here okay and uh, let's uh, let's uh, zoom zoom in the time uh, the preview window so we can uh, see it better zoom in the zoom out a uh, zoom level change the zoom level to 50 uh, to 25 percent okay so uh, this is zoom zoom out <laughs> okay <laughs> so now we have the, the sample color over here on the right side and uh, on the right side of the screen now we need uh, to make a, a one second one second or just a little bit longer uh, transition so we need to shorten the uh, shorten the, the color Okay, so let's say we want to have all this color in one second and uh, let's select all of them and then right click and then go to duration uh, here we need to change it to 0 1 and I'm, I'm going with uh, 15 more milliseconds yeah 15 milliseconds because uh, uh, when the changes and go from right to the left so it near the edge of the uh, the screen it stop there a little uh, for maybe some some millisecond and then it's just slowly go uh, go out of the frame so that's why we need more than one second okay and then click OK so here we have all the shape all the color uh, at the right position and the right duration and now we need to add keyframe to this uh, color okay so for the first color we're going to 
uh, let's view everything on the zoom in the timeline a little bit for the first color we are going to uh, right click and add animation okay so we are going to add the first keyframe to this color at the first keyframe so it will remember this position a scale and opacity uh, let's move about 15 frame 15 frame for what and add a new keyframe but but now we just uh, need to adjust the position of this uh, this color okay so we are going to move it to here at the second keyframe okay let's uh, preview it nice so we want to uh, so we want the, uh, the this color sample to st uh, stay here for for a while and then we we'll slowly move out the frame and so to do that we need to add a new keyframe here at this position and then we move to uh, the end of the, the color color sample and just select select the color sample at the preview window and move out of the frame okay so uh, now we create two animation effect for this uh, for this sample color and now we need to adjust a little bit and uh, let's uh, preview it first oh i think it's nice it's nice from the beginning so we don't need to adjust anything now we do the same with the red and the blue one uh, doing the same step uh, like this for the red one let's select the red and add the first keyframe and then move to the second keyframe similar to the green one okay and then adjust the position of the red color to be the same position with the green one okay I will explain it later and to the next uh, keyframe let's add a new keyframe and to the next keyframe of the red let's move it out of the frame like this and we do the same with the blue one okay uh, go to the uh, the beginning and then add a keyframe and then go to this keyframe and adjust the position right here and then go to this keyframe no not this this keyframe and add a new keyframe and then go to this keyframe and adjust the side at the position of the blue one to go out of the frame all right so here we have already created uh, the shape the position and um, the shape the size and the animation keyframe for for our tree uh, color like this okay so now we only see the uh, the green one uh, how can we see uh, the red and the blue uh, like the beginning of this tutorial like the demo uh, let's just adjust a little bit more so here we have the first one at the same uh, we, are, we are now going to use our arrow key to move frame by frame so for the first one I'm going to move three frame three frame or two frame it's up to you three frame for what and then I select the red one and then I adjust Choose it to uh, to start at two frame after the after the green one and for the blue one I also do the same three frame forward and then adjust the position. Now we already finished the uh, now we finished creating a uh, a shape transition effect like this. All right. So if you don't want to to have this uh, black black bar uh, right in uh, in uh, between them, you can just adjust it to two frame or one frame like this. And this one, one two, like this. It will eliminate uh, the black bar between between them. Okay, like this we can see. So that is how we we can create a shape transition effect in Filmora 10. For example, if I want, I can put some video under it. Uh, let's group all this uh, into one group. Group, okay, and move one about one track, and then I put a, a, a video track here. Okay, so I move the transition to this position, and let's split the clip right here, and bring bring down another clip. Uh, so we have the transition, right? And uh, let's say we need to uh, see from here yeah from here and uh, this position no not this position 
this position uh, when the uh, when the collar uh, cross the frame then we need to split the clip at this position okay and then we can put the second clip to this position to create the transition like this nice right but we can make it a little bit better by adding a dissolve transition here go to transition again and I have this dissolve transition in my favorite so let's drag and drop it uh, right here so and shorten it and then I can shorten it right here okay nice right let's preview come back to uh, let's zoom into uh, fit so you can see better okay this is a transition nice right so what if you download my transition uh, video uh, how should you use it okay let's uh, do it hide this one and import import uh, I'm going to import the transition here I have the shape transition a few moments later and now we uh, for example if we want to uh, use the first transition and we just drag and drop it uh, on top on, on the top track and like this because I hide I hide all this so you cannot see and this is a, uh, the transition but uh, when the transition happened the black background is still there so to get rid of the black background it is very easy just double click on the video go to the compositing and at the blending mode uh, select screen screen at this option okay and now we have you can use the transition my transition for your video like this okay so i hope it is uh, helpful for you to create your own shape transition effect if you have any question let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye